Let's write the net ionic equation for sodium thiosulfate plus iodine, I2. So first we do need to balance the molecular equation. So just looking at it, I see that I have S2O3 and S4O6. So I think I need to double this here. That'll balance the sulfurs and the oxygens. So now I have two times two, that's four sodiums. On this side, I have two here and one, so I have three. Let's make this two. So two sodiums here plus the two here, that's four. The sodiums are balanced. And then for the iodine, we have two times one, so we have two and then two there. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So compounds with sodium, they're very soluble. So all of these compounds here are soluble. And the iodine I2, if it's a gas and it's in the liquid, it will dissolve. So we can call it aqueous, but we won't split it apart into its ions in the net ionic equation. This is a molecular substance. We're not going to split this apart. So once we have the balanced molecular equation and the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note we didn't split the I2 apart. We've kept that together. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation here. So I see I have four sodium ions here. On this side here, the products, I have two plus two. So I have four sodium ions in the products and in the reactants. So we'll cross all those out. They're spectator ions but everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for the sodium thiosulfate plus the iodine, I2. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for our sodium thiosulfate and our iodine, our I2 here. Note that charge is balanced. We have two times two minus, that gives us four minus, and over here we have two times one minus, plus two minus, four minus. So the charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na2S2O3 plus I2, sodium thiosulfate plus iodine. Thanks for watching.